it's the week of the Devotion Championship Wrestling Aftermath show in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, today's Sunday. It will be this coming Saturday. Uh, should be a good show. Once again, the Irish Extreme is in it. How could it not be? Uh, but all we've heard was good things about last show and people excited for this show. Hopefully they told their friends. Hopefully we can sell out the place. It, it's got the potential to be the biggest thing in Utah wrestling history. Uh, I'm still going to be putting up flyers this week for Colorado United 2. Promoting the hell out of that down here in my area of Colorado. But on social media, it'll mostly be promoting... Uh, Devotion Championship Wrestling promoting the show that's coming up this this week try and get the word out there try and get it get more people in the building get more butts in the seats so this week is all about Devotion Championship Wrestling uh, being an out of stater there's always so much I could do to promote it This Friday, probably shoot a promo for uh, Colorado United to see how I'm in the Christopher Chavez Senior Memorial Battle Royal. Uh, not only garner some some uh, interest in the show, but also in that match, garner some interest for the Irish Extreme. Uh, it should be. A good show also. It's already built up to be a huge show. Uh, but right now, this week, is all about Devotion Championship Wrestling. About to send Manny Lemons the promo video that I shot so he can get it posted to Devotion's uh, page and get that out there. Pretty good promo, nice editing. Um, Let's see how many views it gets, see how much attention it garners. So, this week, Devotion Championship Wrestling. So, it's another day off. Uh, again, going to do my cardio uh, later, do the weights later. Uh, started with the protein powder, the protein shake, uh, taking the whey protein. So, that cuts out. A meal or two, sometimes two, sometimes a meal and a half. Tech cuts out half a meal. Uh, still eat the vegetables from lunch. Uh, and then I take another one late at night. Uh, it, so far, yesterday, day off, felt a little headache, probably from the liquid diet. Uh, but I still did the weights. Uh, but, uh, this is the week of Devotion Championship Wrestling. Uh, still going to be handing out flyers for Colorado United 2. But other than that, it's going to be uh, concentrating on Devotion Championship Wrestling's Aftermath this Saturday in Salt Lake City, Utah. And should be a good show. I have yet to see who I'm going to be facing, but I'm excited to find out. Excited to hopefully start off 2019 with a victory. That would be amazing if that happens. And uh, hopefully get one step closer to when Devotion does come out with the belt. Getting that belt. Because gold is another one of the big goals for this year. More shows, more promotions, uh, networking at Comic Con is gonna happen, and uh, more gold. So, uh, and also being in better shape, which I'm working towards hard. I'm, I'm working hard towards it, and uh, then, uh, then next week will be uh, CE2, but. 
devotion, it, it's literally seeing the hype of it in Utah. In the Utah indie wrestling chat room, there's a lot of hype about Devotion Championship Wrestling. And people are telling their friends, hey, you need to come watch it. It's a great show. You'll have a great time. Let's see what they do to blow up bigger. And we got Sefafa too, brother of the Usos and son of Rikishi. Speaking of Rikishi, like my five days away post a couple days ago, which that's awesome for me. Rikishi like my post. Uh, so this is going to get the Irish extreme seen by a lot more faces. So today going up to tan, we're going to drop off some flyers, uh, put, put up more Colorado United flyers. And on a side note, anybody watched the previous episode of extreme TV, you guys seen that uh, got a little new technology going, got a little new editing, got a title screen at the beginning. So it's uh, it's coming out big. It's improving for you, the fans. This show is proving, improving, and you'll start to see more of that improvement. But uh, on the way to ten and cardio later today after I drop off some more of the flyers. But fortunately, I ain't got uh, another one of the entire card flyer. The, the big flyer, I dropped out that off at work at Global Treasures at Inspiration Field runs. So, because I work there, so that way people know, hey, this is his show. So I'm going to be handing out more of these smaller flyers that still have everybody on there. And uh, it's kind of the same material. These are the only big ones I have left uh, of Delta Junior and Big Guns match. Why well, put those up? But uh, gonna put up more of the little ones, get more eyes on it, and uh, we're gonna see how well, how big of a crowd comes from this area. Hopefully, we get more people from this area to come. Uh, we'll we'll find out. But this week, it's all about devotion. Devotion Championship Wrestling Aftermath this Saturday should be good. So I'm um, driving home from Springs. Uh, we just got back from Utah, Salt Lake City, Devotion Championship Wrestling's Aftermath. Uh, I was placed in a six-man tag against me, Mike, and his two partners. Uh, it, I got the pinfall victory, uh, but the match could have been better. Uh, I was teamed with two people that's really green, really new, and uh, he was teamed with two people that was injured, and uh, one of the guy's injuries caused a collapse towards the end of the match, uh, kind of stalled the match, match went over time, and, uh, and after the match, one of the other injured guys was a little upset that his spot wasn't done so he came in and tried to do it himself after the match after our victory and it just completely turned into a mess I mean stuff happens whatever but uh their next show is February 23rd I'll be there for that uh sucky so like myself and me Mike in a singles match which uh I will probably be pretty good both me and him are good workers, uh, good wrestlers, so we'll see what happens there. So, uh, on to the next, on to Colorado United 2.